What is going on everyone? This is Jacob Amaral here in the third part of the Interactive Brokers Trading Bot series. In today's video, we're gonna be going over how to submit an order over the API, okay? To submit an order with the IB API, first we have to create an order object, a contract object, and then we have to call the place order method. So here on line 46, I will actually zoom in here so you can see better. I wrote to do submit order. Okay, so first we're gonna create an order object. Okay. And make sure this is this code is available on GitHub as well. Uh, make sure you're importing the uh, ibapi.order uh, class. So we're gonna create an order variable, which is gonna be equal to a blank order object. Then we need to set the order type. Um, so by default, we'll do a market order, which submits it at the current market price. Um, there's also limit, etc. The next step is the action. Are we gonna buy or sell? We're gonna buy. We need to set the quantity. So we'll just make a variable with a quantity of one, which would be one of whatever asset you're trading. So if it's stocks, it'd be one share. If it's futures, it's one contract. So you wanna set the total quantity object to equal to quantity. And then that's all for the order object. The next step is to set up the contract object. And it's a little bit confusing because if you do trade stuff like futures or CFDs, you are trading contracts. But with the IB API, when they say contract or when you see the term um, or, or use the contract object, it's basically the symbol and exchange you're trading on. Okay, so um, I know it's confusing if you're, say, a futures trader and you trade contracts, which is totally different from this IB API contract object. Okay, I just want you to know that. Basically, a contract object is the symbol and exchange you're trading on, okay? So we're gonna create a contract variable. That's equal to a new instantiation of the contract object. We're gonna set the symbol parameter. Variable, sorry. And we do have a symbol variable above here on line 37 here, which is just enter the symbol to trade. So we'll type that in. And one cool thing with Visual Studio is if you're not sure if you're using the right variable or not, um, generally, okay, maybe it doesn't work with my Python. Generally, when you highlight it or click it, it will highlight the variable you're using, but it's not working right now. I think it's with my Python environment. I don't have it set up, but generally, if you're doing like C Sharp or any of the programming in Visual Studio, it will highlight it. So um, that should be good. And then the next step is the SEC type which is the type of the asset we're trading. So in this case, we're trading stocks. Um, if you wanted to do futures, it's F-U-T. And then there's a bunch of others. I think Forex is cash or whatever. Um, so you need that. And then the next step is the exchange. So um, by what I recommend using and what you know the TWS API recommends using is using the smart exchange, which will auto route your order to um, the, I guess, the best possible exchange in terms of speed. I'm not, I'm not sure they have some type of algorithm that will route it for you. Um, so generally, I like using smart. Now, also a good practice is to what I find sometimes very rarely, rarely this happens, but sometimes you'll submit an order and you'll get an error saying no destination or wrong, ex wrong exchange. And I've been able to fix that by also including the primary exchange and using the island parameter, okay? Um, now, island is a way of routing exchanges through the NASDAQ. So if you're doing any trades on the NASDAQ, it will prioritize that. But if you're not, if it's a New York Stock Exchange or another exchange, it will use the smart parameter. But what I recommend is using both in parallel just to be safe. So when you submit your order, it has the highest chance of getting submitted. Uh, and then we also need the currency, which of course is going to be USD if you're trading on any US stock market. Um, 
Okay, and then the last step, we have to place the order. So to place the order, we need to call the place order method from our IB class. So we're gonna call our IB variable, which is found here, we've set in bot. So IB is equal to none. Self.ib.placeOrder. It needs an order ID first, so we can just do one for now, but this order ID needs to be unique. So generally you want to increment it by one um, every time you place an order so it's unique and it's not. If you try and place the same order with the same order ID, um, you will get an error. Um, they do reset at midnight, but you do need to increment them during the trading session. And we're gonna paste our contract and then our order variable in. And this should work. So I've already placed an order with an order ID of one, so I'm just gonna put two just so it works. And I'm going to run this application. Let's do Tesla. Oh, I'm not connected. Interesting. Oh yes, because I'm already connected in this old mod. All right, sorry about that. I'm gonna rerun it. Now I'm connected. Tesla. And then here we go. I'm gonna pull up my TWS here. Um, it is the weekend, it is Saturday today, so that's why it's giving me this warning message. It won't be placed until 9.30. So I'll just put okay. And then uh, you can see that the order, hold on. Sorry guys, I'm trying to drag this over for you. The order has been placed for Tesla here. Of one share, perfect, okay. So that worked perfectly. Um, and that was basically today's video, just showing you how to submit orders. So the next episode is the exciting one. It's the one where we actually build the strategy, okay? So what I want you guys to do is leave a comment below on which strategy you wanna code, okay? And I'll pick the most popular or the most upvoted one. If I don't get any comments, I will, I will be picking you know one of the strategies I have, but ideally, um, if you have a strategy, if you want to see it coded with this Interactor Brokers Trading Bot, leave a comment below and I will pick it. And in the next video, we will actually build that strategy and get it working live. Okay, so please comment below. And if you found value, hit the like button. Um, I do plan on doing probably about two or three more episodes, you know, building the strategy, maybe making a user interface and potentially adding some machine learning. Um, so I think we'll see at least at least two episodes, maybe three Um three more of this of this library. But anyways, this is episode three um, of the Interactive Brokers Trading Bot in Python. And I hope you're finding value. We'll see you next week. Um, and yeah, have a good day.